In this part let's build the Android application for our login registration screen. We are working with the Volley network library so first go to the build.gradle settings and insert its dependency. After that in the Android manifest file enable the internet permission for the networking. Then as you see I have a login activity and its XML file. Inside the XML file I placed two edit texts, one for email and one for the password. Also there is a button that will initialize a network request. If the user enters correct email and password then we will allow him to go to the next activity. So let's create that new activity. Now let's name it welcome and now here simply implement on create method and set content view for it. Let's name its layout welcome activity. Then press shortcut alt plus enter on keyboard and create this layout. I chose relative layout for the root view. Inside of it uh, I'll just put a basic text view saying welcome and also a button named logout. When the button logout is pressed the user will be taken on the login screen again. Ok. Go to the login activity and declare our views email, password and the button. Then, because we are using Volley library, we need a request queue for requests, so request queue, then a string containing the URL to the PHP script. Finally, a string request itself. First, a reference email, password and button using the findViewById method. Then, initialize a request queue with Volley's new request queue method. After that set on click listener for the button. In this listener we will create a new request. So request equals new string request. Our method is post of course. URL is our URL that we have previously created. Then there are these two listeners on response and on error listener. After you implement on error listener open and close curly brackets and inside of them implement uh, a method called get params. In this method we will place our parameters in the request body. Our parameters are stored in a hash map so create a new hash map and inside of it put a new parameter with the key named email and for its value we will simply type the value from our email edit, edit text. Same goes for the password. Ok, now return this hash map. Alright, add this request to the request queue. Now we will read the response that we receive from the server. First we will create a new instance of the JSON object and pass our response as a parameter. As you see our response looks like this. It contains a key or in other words object named success with the value of welcome message. Key named success is on the index position 0 of the received response. So we just ask, if our object with the first position equals to success, then we got the positive response. To show the response, let's create a new toast and extract the value from the object. I mean, extract the message from the object. So to do that, just type json object dot get string and enter the key. Key is, in this case, success. This will return a message saying welcome test at gmail.com in our case. So if the response is positive 
then we can simply let the user proceed to the next activity. So let's start a new activity by calling method start activity. New intent, pass our application context as well as the destination class. In our case it is this second activity named welcome activity. Uh, okay, if our object name isn't success, if it's not success then it will be error. We, that means we entered the wrong password. We will do the same. Make the toast and now when extracting a message instead of choosing object named success we will choose an object called error because it will be generated in the response. Okay, now go to welcome activity and reference our button for logout set the listener on it and here we will simply switch from this activity to the login activity again nothing really special the next thing is don't forget to add this activity to your android manifest file like this all right that's all now let's test this on the emulator as you remember from the previous tutorial, I created a user with an email test at gmail.com and the password for that was just plain digits from 1 to 8. So now let's click on start and here you go. Successful login. Now let's log out and let's try a wrong password. So type some random password. And you see, we can't log in because, because the password is wrong. Everything works as intended. Let's also try to create a new user, type in some different email address. And as you can see, it is working. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorials. Bye bye.